Okay, I'm doing a little gear review. I'm in the bathtub. <laughs> I rinsed out my stuff in the bathtub. This is a little sand scoop I got when I was uh, over in Venice Beach in Florida. And it's used for scooping up the sand in the bottom. And then you put it in this uh, sifter. And it's for shark's teeth. So I used it for underwater metal detecting. And it works really good. It's just a little plastic scoop. And then this is the new snorkel. And I found myself gagging, like, uh, uh, you know, trying to get this thing kind of moved a little bit. It took a while to get used to it. And um, I put the uh, these caps on here, these blue caps. I had them actually the wrong way. I had this one backwards. I had it over here and then vice versa. Uh, but the words are supposed to be this way, you know reading reading outward this way so overall this is a pretty good uh snorkel now when i go underwater and it's got uh some valves to stop the water from coming in and as i'm coming to the surface before i even break the surface i'm blowing out and the air and water come out here so when i'm underwater snorkeling and I'm breathing with this snorkel, um, just just snorkeling on the surface. You know, my face is in the water and these are up in the air. Um, bubbles come out, out of here. So it's almost like a scuba, you know. But um, it, it works pretty good. I mean, I was breathing in. You have to try kind of hard to breathe in, like a lot of videos say, you know. Yeah, and but you can get used to it, and, and then uh, you blow out, and there's bubbles. So you're uh, snorkeling, you know, and these bubbles are coming out. But that's all right. That that worked out okay. This is my little metal detector. It's just a inexpensive little one. It takes a nine volt battery, which I took the battery out. I always take the battery out. I always rinse everything. But this little guy works pretty good. I got it on Amazon. And this is my mask. It's a prescription dive mask. So these lenses are prescription. Last night I attached this little uh, camera mount. And there's a guy who's deaf. He's on YouTube. And he made a different mount. So I'm going to do what he did. I mean, this worked okay. I probably don't really need to change it or anything. It, it worked okay. Um, and the footage worked really good, and I'll make a video of the footage. It showed, you know, I'm underwater, and it showed my metal detector, and my, you know, it it did pretty good. So, I might not even need to modify that, but, you know, that worked pretty good. So, everything's just drying now. This is a little waterproof fanny pack. And it worked really good. It seals in three places. Like, I don't know if you can see. This, and then, I don't know, three places. Where is it? Here, here, and then, all right, here, here, no, okay, here, here, and here. Then you wrap it up. You know, you fold it up, then you put this over. And I actually had this stuff down the front of my shorts because it kept moving on me. It kept wanting to go behind me. And I was in a crowded place, and people could, I don't know, they could probably take it, you know, if they unhooked the latch, you know, if they wanted to or something. Uh, some kid was hitting me on my back, and I think he wanted to talk to me. Some people ran me over with their <laughs> their little floaty things, but this is a clip. But it's basically a waterproof fanny pack. And I had it stuffed down my shorts, you know, I'm like, down in there. So, that worked out pretty good. I mean, everything stayed dry, and all I had in here was my glasses 
and my car keys because I left my wallet at home today. Pretty dumb, but oh well. I wasn't going to let that stop me from my day's activities. So this is pretty much my gear for the most part. And uh, I just rinsed it all off in the bathtub and I'm letting it dry. So there's my little product review and there's my foot. <laughs> and uh, alright, thanks for watching. Bye.